Today we celebrate and honour our service men and women and all the commitments that they've given us throughout the year, at uh, the years. They truly are our local heroes. They often sacrifice everything so that we may live in peace and prosperity and in liberty. And here in Shadrach we've got a great history of military service with many local Serbian Her Majesty's armed forces. We as a community should be proud to have such honourable people living amongst us and we should be proud of their contribution to this nation and to so many of us. So please today enjoy the activities that have been put on for you and I would like to now invite Reverend Pam Bellis to give this morning's prayers. Let us be thankful and teach us to remember them not just today but always and to go on remembering today, tomorrow, every day. For they and their families have done much to give us what we have today. For they shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor their years condemn. For at the going down of the sun and in the morning, we shall remember them. Good morning. In the absence of the Lord Lieutenant, it's my pleasant duty to say a few words on her behalf and also as a veteran myself to say a few words on behalf of the armed forces. We Scots have been proud of our service and our connections and rapport with the civil population. And we've always punched above our weight when it's come to finding recruits to serve in the armed forces. Our local regiment here, the King's Own Scottish Borders, 25th of Foot, goes back to 1689. And during my service, the Leslie Trues were a familiar sight. At this moment in time, <coughs> in the little country of Estonia, which has a 200-mile border with Russia, there are 2,000 British soldiers, infantry mostly, and another thousand going to join them, that's three thousand. And the idea is that they will be there for some time, giving reassurance to, that, uh, to the small country of Estonia against Russian, uh, Russian aggression. The, naval, the Na Royal Navy has formed two uh, uh, naval task force based on our two aircraft carriers. One will be at sea, sailing probably in dangerous waters, the other one back at home in, in reserve. From the Air Force base in Western Cyprus at Akrotiri, Air Force, Royal Air Force jets are flying along the southern NATO boundary, giving, giving some uh, support to the, the countries there, and possibly flying into dangerous uh, confrontations with the Russian Air Force. These young service, some of these young servicemen will be going abroad for the first time. They will be anxious, apprehensive, but good training will kick in and hopefully good commanders will see them through, uh, through these, these times and uh, as they face an uncertain future and commitments. Finally, we should think of the families of these servicemen who are back at home. Mothers, wives, sisters, brothers, they will be anxious as to how their, their families are getting on and how they are, what they're doing and the threat to them. They will be worried and anxious. They need our support. And I'm sure, as, as Scotland has always, the Scots have always supported armed forces. I know they will do so now as we face 
an uncertain future. Thank you very much. Right, right, we owe! Quick, march, left, right, left, right, left! 